everybody. Greetings. We are getting ready to do for Pisces because I got to hook my Pisces up today. Uh, where's my lighter? Every time I sit down, I don't move my lighter. Hold on. Every time I get ready to sit down, store and get me a bowl. I got ashes all over here. I got to clean this off today. There's some sage for everyone. All right. Whew. Get that midnight funk off. That stank energy. No telling where you traveled at <laughs> while you were asleep and out of your body. Ooh. Come on, come on, come on. Well, that's my smoke detectors to be going on. All righty. Great rising, grand rising, earthlings, humans. Let me cut that on, because if I don't cut that on right now, honey, it will, <laughs> it will be, <laughs> it will be going off. It will be definitely going off. Beep, beep, beep. Is my thing looking like a, did I wipe my camera off? Okay. It's 9.01. Great rising, everyone. It is the 11th. This is my Pisces bonus for my Pisces out there. Let's give you a daily inspirational song. Okay. Let's see what the spirit source God has for our Pisces today out there. If y'all got Pisces in your chart, go to astrocafe.com, put all your information in there, and you'll get a free natal chart. And you'll be able to see if you got Pisces in your chart or not. Okay. Happiness. This was yesterday's for the general reading. Oh my God, Pisces. Y'all are pulling the same stones. What's going on? Y'all are feeling happy, huh? I'm going to get another one. Y'all are feeling all happy. Y'all in love. Healing. Oh gosh, I can't see nothing. It's such a glare. I don't even know if y'all see it. Oh. Healing, woo, that looks like a adventuring or some type of jade. Woo, and this is a lapis lazuli. Let's get one more. Let's get one more. <gasps> Success. So Pisces, baby, here it comes. Here it comes. Comes. Here it comes. Happiness, healing, and success. Awesome. Also, I'm going to have an app put down below. I have to go get the, the link. Uh, one of my uh, clients is uh, one of my friends have an app out for, uh, I don't want to mess it up, but it's a free agent app. I want y'all to download it. It helps you if you have any type of car accident or motor vehicle or whatever accident, not that we want that to happen, but if you do, you, that app walks you through everything you will need for that car accident. Okay. That is a wonderful app. Okay, so download it on your phones. It takes the pictures. It takes the VIN number. And with Rona Girl out, you don't even have to get close to the person. Everything is done from your phone and uploaded. So if your attorneys need it, whether it's truck drivers, 
whether it's uh, a hit and run, maybe, I don't know. You can do it still for your insurance purposes. It logs everything because you know how when we stop and we're like, okay, what do I do? I'm, I, what do I do? You know, this app walks you through it so that you can get everything and you even get to document, you like tell what happened right there, you know, so that you don't forget and get kind of like out of that, and, you know, in that panic mode. This is, you know, of course, pending you're not severely injured, of course, but if it's like a fender bender enough where both parties can get out of the car, uh, <clears throat> you know, and you're waiting on the police, you can go ahead and start uploading the information and getting the information. And you don't even have to get six feet, okay, to the person. You get the car tag, you get the VIN number, you get what you put on it and some more of the stuff. So y'all go download that app, take a look at it. Uh, I believe it's free agent. I will go back and put it below. Uh, I meant to do it at first, but I got off for a minute ago. So put it below and then, hey, you're ready to go. Take a look at that app, okay? That is an awesome, awesome freaking app. I mean, I wish I would have had it. It's for attorneys, it's for lawyers, it's for truck drivers that may be getting in fender benders, uh, companies. It is going to be so helpful, so helpful for especially attorneys and police reports and all that stuff, that information is like right there. I mean, pictures, everything, okay? Everything that you'll need, okay? Right at your finger, right on an app, okay? So y'all take a look at that. Uh, just wanna give that uh, shout out to uh, one of my friends. Uh, that, is, that is a beautiful, beautiful app, beautiful app. <clears throat> um, all right, Pisces bonus. I got to take care of my Pisces, baby. I woke up with a headache. I must have slept some type of hard last night. It might have been that CBD peppermint tea I had last night when my ass went to bed. I was like, I don't even know what the hell. Let me go. Let me show y'all that peppermint tea. I, I tried it by itself. I bought one CBD peppermint and one CBD chamomile. And then it's like 250 milligrams, right? So now I got... When I take the chamomile one tonight, I'm going to have one of each left. I wanted to see, would it take any discomfort and, you know, calm me down and let me relax? And it did. And when I'm, I'm like, I don't need, I was going to use like a chamomile and a peppermint and put it together. But that one last night did it. And I was like, either it was them gummies I ate. <laughs> Or it was that, or it was that peppermint tea. <laughs> oh my gosh. Or it was that peppermint tea. <clears throat> so I bought a single before I bought the whole thing. Cause you know, I like to try stuff first sometimes if I can. And they had little singles. And so I had took the peppermint. It's the Buddha teas. So it's CBD <laughs> with peppermint. I got one left. And then these are my two chamomiles because I love chamomile, peppermint, and lavender and it helps you relax. But I was like, well, shoot, I've been working out. My legs hurt. My back hurt. I need some relief too. So I said, let me try one of these and see if, if I'm, you know, if I work out, would it help, you know, get this soreness out? Baby, I didn't feel nothing but my head kind of hurting this morning. And I think it's because I must have slept like this. Like my eyes were like really glued together. Uh, it's no, it's no high feeling. It was like, really, it just felt like I was taking, I was drinking my regular peppermint tea. I didn't feel a damn thing. I didn't even know what hit me. I just know I started to kind of get relaxed and go to sleep. But, uh, <clears throat> this is the chamomile one. I'm gonna try. I don't know if I'm gonna try it tonight because I got to see if, if this headache gonna go away. So those are, and I bought them for like $1.99. $1.99 Buddha teas, baby. I love Buddha teas. They got one for every chakra. They got so they got the detox when I got over there. Buddha teas is on. You can buy them on Amazon. Uh, you can get it off Amazon. But I just wanted to share that with y'all in case y'all needed some relaxation. Some of y'all feeling all this nervous energy from uh, Rona girl and stuff. So I was like, okay, maybe this is something they need. They might want to try. But anyway, happiness. 
meditate on happiness, uh, meditate on healing the middle inner, the middle one. That's like the heart chakra, baby. Y'all, happiness is going to do so much healing work for y'all, which is going to pull in that success. Because if y'all know anything about the law of attraction, the law of vibration, uh, you can, when you're in that happy, creative energy, that abundant energy, that's when wealth, love, money, uh, success, your fortunes, your your greatness, your your higher self, you know, you just pull to it, and or you you know you're just moving toward it. So that's where all the abundance comes from. That's what you came here to be. So you start tapping in to that divine in you, right? Your great divine in you, and that's what give changes everything around for you. And in that whole process, you learn to appreciate the happiness you learn to uh enjoy that moment for what it is and also it's healing because you're trusting now so you're trusting where there were trust issues insecurity issues abandonment issues money issues squalling issues argument it whatever that issue is for you or that situation you start to heal through it because that love covers what they say a multitude of sin but really that love covers you know everything about you and and what needs to be fixed or corrected rather say in in yourself that love is what do it the unconditional creator's love for you and then all that success all that success in your life i forget the name of this one <clears throat> I used to have something like this. I can't think. This was gorgeous. That little green, that little lime looking green. Oh my gosh. This is this is happiness, healing, and success. Dang, my Pisces are on the ball. They're going to love this one. Let's pull an Isis Oracle and see what's going on with your girl, with your Isis Oracle, Spirit Source Energy. Baby. So this is about, what did I say the title was? I don't even remember. I've been talking. Uh, what your person secretly thinks about you, right? <clears throat> and also, it's timeless, Pisces, so when you get it, you're meant to have it. It may or may not resonate with you. However, if it doesn't, leave it right there with the eye of raw, okay? And uh, it's for your rising sun, moon, Venus, cuspers, cross watchers like myself. Thank you, Spirit Source Energy. What is our Isis oracle for today? Spirit Source Energy for our Pisces bonus, uh, June the 11th. Spirit Source Energy. What is our... Mm -hmm. Ancient Power Mysteries up under the bottom. Woo! The Knot of Isis. Can y'all see that? I don't know. I'm going to have to figure out some type of lamp lighting thing over here. The Knot of Isis. I don't even know if y'all can see that. Try not to put the glare on the card. It says, part of your spiritual destiny involves a special relationship with the goddess. This means that not only do you have the important spiritual task of helping her thrive in this world, but you are afforded her power, protection, and abundance. Two, you are now deepening your connection with the goddess. Whoa. Who is this, Pisces? You about to have it going on. You tapping into the goddess, baby, that, that feminine energy. And no wonder success came out. It's no wonder healing came out. And it's no wonder happiness came out. You have woken up the divine feminine aspect in yourself. Do you heard me? Do you heard me? Okay. Yeah, I know that ain't a word like that, but that's the way I'm going to say it. <laughs> Y'all probably like, that ain't no damn word. <laughs> it's a word to me. Because <laughs> that's the way I choose to damn say it. 
How about that? I speak proper language. <laughs> I speak what the fuck I hear. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> they probably was like, <laughs> well, can you at least say it right? No. <laughs> My country just won't let me. Woo, look at there. The full card and the nine of cups. Some of y'all on to that, baby. Y'all on to that new beginning of happiness, healing, and success because y'all got y'all wish fulfillment. Spirit, source, synergy, what's going on? What is Pisces? <sighs> Pisces, you're going to be at the top. Your person going to be at the bottom. Spirit, source, synergy. Woo, look at y'all. Can't wait to come out the gate. Nine of pentacles and walking away from something. Overall energy. You see, ooh, we, y'all are looking good. Look at there. Nine of cups. Eight of cups, I'm sorry. Walking away from people, places, and things. Walking away from that unfulfilling relationship because you figure, hey, I'm, I'm, I have too much to offer with this nine of pentacles. I'm, I'm financially stable and grounded. I don't have to take people's shit anymore. I don't have to take petty ass, low paying jobs anymore. I don't have to go to those low vibrational clubs anymore. I go parlay with the big dogs, baby, in the pente house, okay? In the pent house. This is all about you changing your perception, okay, Pisces? This is about you wanting more the cream de la creams in life. And the goddess is here wanting to give you that through happiness, healing, and success because you have tapped into your feminine energy, okay? And that, that abundance that the goddess has is now yours too, is what the, the knot of Isis was saying. Because you have tapped into and you're not afraid of the divine feminine, now you get her success and her blessings and her life and her abundance and her happiness and her like mother nature, her resources to elevate yourself. And not only when you elevate yourself, tapping into the divine feminine, you that brings in that law of vibration, of attraction, of happiness, success, and healing because she's wanting to heal the planet, right? That's the divine feminine. Most people get it twisted like a knot, right? They get it twisted thinking that she's going to manipulate, she's going to control, that she's going to take advantage of. That's, that's patriarchal thinking, y'all. Y'all got to get off that bullshit because that's not what the divine feminine is about. The divine feminine is about elevation and uplifting the mother planet. It's not about belittling somebody, manipulating somebody, taking control over somebody, you know, and, and dogging them out. That's, that's, that's a patriarchal mindset. That's a program you've been brainwashed to think that if you... If you surrender, I don't like the word submit because ain't no motherfucker submitting shit, right? <clears throat> and it's not about submit. It's about surrendering to the greater power, the greater, you know, uh, universe, pretty much the power, the hidden power behind the sun. That is us submitting, not, not submitting, damn it. That is us surrendering to that greatness, to that higher, higher self not saying, oh, I, I got to get walked on or stepped on. if Because if that's the case, that's the wrong person. That person got an ego fucking problem. That person still is in that patriotic mindset bullshit. Because it's not about belittling, dethroning somebody. It's about resurrection and redemption of both of you in the relationship. Not only just one-sided elevate the man and, and walk all over the woman... That fucking shit time frame is out of here. The bitch got to go, okay? The bitch in these men gonna have to fucking go. The ego. So it's about elevating each other and supporting each other. And the only way you get those, those uh, 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 blessings and that abundance, if you want to call it, that prosperity and that fruitfulness is you have to elevate the divine feminine in yourself. And if you have a feminine partner, you have to elevate them. You can't expect the partner to elevate you and you dogging and belittling them and don't see no importance in them when you're getting that abundance and creative 
ability and instinct and happiness and healing because of that because of the divine feminine so you see how twisted y'all ass mindset is out here and you wonder why a lot of men and a lot of women are by their goddamn self it's because they don't want to surrender to the divine feminine energy within themselves and they're letting their ego get the best of them and it's getting a whooping ass it's, it's whooping ass on them too because they they alone they ain't got nobody don't nobody want them Ain't nobody trying to fuck with them. Some of them, they ain't got children. It's a lot of goddamn ways and things they are dealing with. And they have to figure out their karmic lesson and grow from that karmic lesson before that love and before that goddess energy comes in. Okay? Because the goddess energy ain't coming in no funk. The, the goddess energy ain't coming in with no patriotic bullshit. You know, <clears throat> from a man or a woman. It ain't, I'm not just saying men because women have that patriotic mindset too. And that's what's wrong with a lot of sisters and, and a lot of females out there too. Is they take on that patriotic dominance uh, as well where they're manipulative, deceptive, controlling, evil, envious, hatred, haters, you know, and all that, that shit too. And just as well as men. And it's all because they're not surrendering to the the hidden power they're not surrendering to that subconscious the, the the divine feminine energy okay and what she represents they want to stay on the physical aspect of it well on the physical aspect of it they're only going to go so far in life period they're only going to go so far they're going to just be going in a time loop and that's it thinking they're going somewhere but they're not their their money is stagnant their life is stagnant they 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 out of shape they 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 relationships crash and burn all that stuff has they can't find a good job they gotta stay on this job they don't like they gotta you know you know go through all these troubles and turmoils and 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 they don't know how to organize and they don't know how to get things done they don't even know how to have start nothing really because if they start something they ain't fucking finishing it because that's a sign of you not being in balance with your divine feminine aspect okay that's what that is you're trying to do things from your program the way you were programmed from your old belief systems for your old outdated thinking system or, or, or program and it's not that time no more ooh six of pentacles and ace of cups so let's get on with the Pisces uh Y'all understand what I'm, I know my Pisces out there understand. If y'all got Pisces in y'all chart, y'all understand that too. Let's see what your person is secretly thinking about you, spirit source energy. Okay. Uh, ooh, wait, Pisces, you are about that heart to heart talk and that happy marriage, baby. See what I see? See what I'm saying? That's my Pisces right there. They come in strong. They come in on time, baby. Spirit, source, energy. What else is Pisces secretly thinking about their person? Ooh, babe. Ooh. Oh, this is my this is my damn Pisces all day. Wait till this damn thing hit my YouTube channel, baby. This is a, this is my these are my YouTube Pisces right here because I know their energy. This is my YouTube Pisces, baby. This is them. These are my babies right here. The Pisces Nation. Woo, baby. Y'all is not playing. Boy, y'all gave me a lot of cards, too. <laughs> I only wanted five. Y'all got like six, seven. So it's done. It's a wrap. It's a done, dada, do, dada, done, done. And the one, one is up in this bitch. Because y'all got seven damn cards out here. And I did not ask for no damn seven cards. Okay? So, but we're going to roll with it. We gonna roll with it, cause that them your damn cards. Shit, I can't help that. Let's see what your person think about you, uh, Pisces, your uh, soulmate, your twin flame, or whoever you thinking spirit source energy you're thinking about uh, being with, or that person, you know, meeting that person one day, or perhaps y'all already met him, spirit source energy, or him or her. Don't. Oh shit, that kind of slipped out of my hand. Well, I'm gonna let I'm gonna let it go though. Ooh, that that Ace of Cups. Ooh, lordy. Okay, let me get two more spirit source energy. These are these are my. I gotta get another stack of these because they kind of. I I had to use these a lot, so they kind of sticking. I'm gonna have to buy another deck. All right, 
Okay, so you're two over here. I'm gonna go with this five and I'm gonna set them two over there for uh, Pisces. All right. Damn, y'all got two aces up in here though. Ace of Pentacle and Ace of Cup. This is a very successful and healing relationship, no doubt, because the Ace of Cups is about emotion. That's about emotional balance and stability. So you have the healing stone going with that. And then you have the success one going with the Ace of Pentacles out here, okay? You, yeah, y'all shit is in here. Y'all, y'all, some of y'all already reaping the rewards. Some of y'all already reaping the reward. And look, here's your happiness right here. There's your happiness stone right there. The happy home, family. You're known in the community. You're known that you're special. You know, you're with yourself. You're, you're special someone. You know, you have a family here. You know, the, the four of wands, the number four is symbolic. Look it up. You Or you can look up, you know, see how y'all are 11, 11. You can look up the divine. See, that's a divine syncrasy. That's a divine uh, uh, timing thing that you are with this person right now. And that's your happiness stone. So you got all three of your stones out here. Pisces, male or woman. It doesn't matter if you're female or male, okay? Okay, so you, you see yourself as single, attractive. Uh, if you're married, you see yourself as the nine of pentacles, having everything that y'all want in life. Uh, you see yourself as, you know, abundant and fruitful and, and uh, attractive, sexy. Y'all have a high self-esteem. Y'all are like the cream de la cream, baby. Y'all are hanging with the big, the big cats and dogs, baby. Y'all ain't hanging with no low mindset people that ain't trying to go nowhere in life. This is this is you celebrating that independence, that financial independence uh, of your finances coming together and and the things that you were building and working on. Okay, that's what that is. Okay. And then, like I said, y'all walked away from people bullshit. Y'all like, fuck this shit. Y'all mindset too low. I got to go. And it's all right. Don't let nobody tell you that you can't walk away from something that no longer serve you. Even if it's you walking away from their ass. Because guess what? They got to level the fuck up, don't they? That's their problem, not your problem. You found your solution. They got to find their own solution to their pity party, right? or why they're in the struggle or why they're suffering or why they're lacking something, right? You go on about your business and you get new new cups. And you got new cups because when you walked away with these cups, you got new opportunities. This is an eight and this is a seven. So you got the opportunities because you walked away from some. So that tell y'all, you got to get rid of the old energy in order for new energy to come in. So you got to release something to invite something new in, right? Or whether it's uh, friendships, whether it's partnerships, whether it's collaborations with people, whatever that deal, whatever that ace of pinnacle, that new fresh start for you that's coming in is huge, y'all. Pisces, this is huge. You see how big that damn pinnacle is? That shit gonna set you up for that financial independence. You are reaping the, the rewards of your hard work and your efforts into whatever adventure that this pinnacle is, you're you're like you're seeing the uh, the fruits of it. You're beginning to see the fruits of it now. Coming in, you Pisces, you want to have that heart to heart talk with your uh, person to express those emotions. Y'all are more spiritually connected. It's not about a physical sleep in one night stand. It's more of a divine timing thing, like I said, because. Here it, here it is with the circle being God and the 11-11 the shows this is a balance of emotion that y'all feel exactly the same about each other. Y'all are mirroring each other. Y'all are mirroring each other to you, you, you have this oneness. You still have your individuality, but certain things you do, you can see the resemblance or the reflection or the, 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 uh, the divine complement that y'all have for each other. So this makes it that even exchange. Okay, that makes it uh, balanced because you give, that person gives. You, you receive, that person receives. It's not you give and they push away. You you give and they take. And see, that's 
not reciprocity. But if I'm giving and you receiving and you giving and I'm receiving, that's an even exchange, okay, of energy. And that's what Pisces relationship is, is about, okay? That's what it's about. It's about them doing uh, what they whatever they're doing they're reciprocating each other they're even telepathic like they can read each other's mind they know exactly what each other's thinking even if they're not together they know they can feel they can sense each other <clears throat> feelings and emotions even if they're not even together right now because here's the third party that your person is separated from you see something's got and it's coming under your uh your happy home and family that you want to have with your person, but there's something separating and you want this two cups to become one. You want this two cups of love to become one. Okay. Y'all want to share so much that y'all are just this one cup. There's no duality. There's just singleness. That's just unity. Okay. And that's what that card represents as well is unity. So y'all want this new beginning. Your person want this new beginning. You, uh, you see your person as the queen of wands, sexy, handsome, if it's a man, okay? Because this can be a man, Pisces, or this can be a woman, Pisces. Depends on who y'all are out there, if y'all are female or male. <clears throat> this is what you think of your person. Hot, passionate, attractive, uh, sitting in their feminine power, right? They got passion. They got drive about what they're doing, okay? And this is them, the Queen of Cups. Okay, you're you have a Queen of Cups that is your person wanting to extend uh, their cup of love uh, to you. Okay, wanting to, but they're not going to just extend it to anybody. So you have a Queen of Wands and a Queen of, and for some of y'all, because this is a third party, that could be two people. For some of you Pisces, that you're having to choose. You're having to choose this third party relationship for these cross watchers that have to switch this shit around. Uh, that's for them. And like I said, uh, some of y'all are already walked away or have already walked away from the third party situation or you're torn between these two choices that you have of, of women. One is hot and sexy. One is so emotionally attractive and, and affectionate and has control and balance of her emotion. This one can be hot tempered sometimes, but sexy as fucking hell. Drive the fucking, you know, bejeebies out of you. You know how they just be so feisty, but they just fucking sexy as fuck. And you like, God damn, this joker is hot. You know, it turns you on. This one's, you're turned on from the feminine power of this one, but you're turned on also with this one because of the, the sensuality, the affectionate, that, that, that this person is free with their emotions. They're balanced. They're, they know what they have and they know the love that they have to offer and they don't have to be feisty. This is the regal. They're confident. Well, both of them are confident. Okay. The queen of wands and the queen of cups is just one more passionately driven and one more is reserved and, you know, you know, but still free with those emotions, not hiding those emotions. So this is what you're secretly thinking about your person or persons. If it's more than one and you kind of, you kind of caught in the middle, right? That's what that is. Okay. Now you have the ace of pentacle coming in the fifth card. So you have an option. You have an option or you have opportunities on the table, right? You have choices. So this is the, uh, the uh, Ace of Pentacle. This is the um, um, new fresh start or the new beginning, or you wanting the new beginning uh, to come to to have a new beginning, a heart to heart. And like I said, for some of you Pisces, this is your person one time. This is both of them, or this is your third party that you have a choice between two people, or this is your third party that separated you from that person that turns you on and emotionally satisfy you. So we got two, two story kind of scenarios going here at the same time uh, and for these cross watchers and stuff I'm picking up on. And also uh, you, you want justice. You know you have a lot of opportunities and, and you're trying to get some clarity you know, with the choices here between this queen of wands and this queen of cups. You're trying to 
okay, decide for y'all in this third party of split, split between two people, you're trying to decide which one is for you, which one, okay, who's the illusion and who's the real one? Because we know everything has a contrast, right? Like Abraham Hicks, everything is contrast. So there's always a black and a white. There always is something seen and something hidden, right? That's the yin yang, something seen, some, something hidden, something in the subconscious, something in consciousness. Okay, we're, we're, you're asking for clarity. You're wanting to give justice to this situation. That's a Libra, okay? You have your Taurus here. You have your Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You have your Pisces here. Uh, uh, your uh, Pisces, um, Scorpio, and Cancers here. Uh, you have your Aries here. Your uh, Leo, I mean your Libra, Gemini, Aquarius is here. Sagittarius is here, I think. Yeah, yeah, with the wands. So you, you having the elements here, okay? Now your person, like I said, want a new beginning with you. But they know something is separating them from coming towards you and getting this four of cups, I mean, four of wands here. It could be family, it could be location, it could be another person, like I said, for some of you. And for some of you, it's just that maybe their job is overseas or they, you've met them in another country or talked to them online and they don't live nowhere near you. So that could be considered the third party separation. It's not always dealing with cheating, it's dealing with uh, things that keep you and the person from coming apart. Distance, uh, jobs, uh, religion, because some people may not want to cross the religion barrier of being Catholic, being Jewish, you know, being Muslim, being Christian. It just depends on y'all dynamic of the third party. But then a love like this, they got a choice. They got a free will choice. They can do whatever they want. If they know this is their soulmate, you are going to sacrifice not being with a soulmate because of a religion. Somebody is going to mess up because this union is going to be successful if they make that choice to work things out, respect each other's religion and whatever they do. Somebody could be religion and spirituality. It doesn't matter. It's whatever they choose. The universe is going to honor whatever choice they choose. But long as they respect each other's religion or spirituality or the two different religions or the two the interracial relate interracial relationship sometimes could be the separation because somebody family don't want them to marry outside the race indian don't normally marry caucasian you know they don't normally marry africans so it could be things like that but the energy of venus and this uh retrograde energy is doing different things in the universe and things are getting turned around and and People are falling apart, but then people are coming together because of the frequency and the vibration of the planet needing to be raised, okay? Because everybody, not everybody, mostly a lot of people are still on a low vibration. And these soul mate unions are going to lift the vibration up of the earth, of the planet, to make everybody else kind of like, it's almost like they're carrying everybody else, okay? But not carrying everybody else but kind of moving things in an upward spiral versus a downward spiral, okay? Even their children are going to be starseed children, okay? They're going to be soulmate children. They're going to be like Netherus up in this bitch. They're going to be so powerful when they come in here, baby. It ain't, ooh. That show going to change the, the planet, the vibration of Mother Earth, okay? Because of the children that they finna even have. Because they got a happy home. And it's got children. And whether it is children from other relationships, like their exes, it's still going to lift the vibration because it's going to set a role model for those children. Those children now are going to have a positive family uh, dynamic situation because so many of us came from broken homes, one or the other, didn't see our parents affectionate, didn't know, you know, none of that was very, you know, out in the open. It was more reserved for behind the closed bedroom doors. So a lot of kids don't know how to be affectionate. A lot of kids don't know how to open up, you know, and, 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 and feel what they feel. Okay. So even if it's a 
children already involved, they're going to see this love that these two have, and it's going to change the the mindset of the even the children that's coming. The, what, do they, what do they call it? Blended family. If they come from a blended family or they have an, to blend the family with children, these children are going to see it. They're going to see it. They're, and it's going to be a positive thing for them, especially for them that know their mother and father is broken up. They don't talk. It's a lot of fussing and a cussing and a lot of the parents talking about each other behind their back to the children, which don't have shit to do with the damn children. And they really shouldn't do that ignorant ass shit because that's fucking immaturity. The children don't have shit to do with y'all ass can't work in a motherfucking thing out and acting like goddamn spoiled ass heathens. Okay, and they taking that out on the children. That's fucking stupid. And and I'd be so glad when the creator whooped their goddamn ass for that shit. Oh yeah, that's one of my pet peeves. <laughs> so I hope some of them hear that goddamn shit too. You know, because that's fucking sad and pathetic. And that shows you how miserable they ass is and that they don't even want to deal with their own fucking fault in the relationship. And you want to use your own innocent children to slaughter their damn beginning and their life for your miserable ass life. You're fucking pathetic. Yeah, I went there. I fucking said it. And I'll say that shit again. Okay, now back to my reading. <laughs> that was with love. <laughs> Some people need to hear shit like that. Y'all got this shit fucked up. All this. <laughs> fuck all that shit. I ain't the fucking one. If your feelings, if you weak minded, get the fuck off my goddamn shit. Off my timeline, off my fucking YouTube. Don't fucking call me for fucking shit. Because what you going to get from me is the fucking truth. 3,000, 65,000. What is it? 36 hours a goddamn day, goddamn it. Yeah, I fucked up all day fucking time. And they calendar. I made that shit up just now. <laughs> that go to show you. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. <laughs> but y'all get the point. 365, 24-7. You gonna get the truth. So if you don't want to get the truth, I suggest you don't look at none of my shit. None of it. You might well stop, pause, don't even, don't, don't even, don't even, uh, ooh. I say, look at that, uh-huh, y'all ass is mad, him, 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 trying to just get my, look at that, my sage done took off on y'all ass, I had to do this for the haters, because I know I hit nerves <laughs> with that one, but anyway, uh, I'm under my smoke detector, it's going to beep in a minute, but uh, y'all get the drift, y'all get the drift, right? So, yeah, that person, y'all are going to come together with, uh, after this third party situation get uh, ironed out, wherever y'all living at, Pisces, okay? Now, you see your person as, you might see your person as materialistic and you might not. Or you might see this person, your person thinks you're materialistic or your person thinks you're hiding something. Okay, this is you, this is your person. Your person thinks you're hot and sexy and attractive. You're thinking your person is hiding something or a little bit stingy, keeping something from the relationship, maybe hiding something of fact about this third party relationship with another person that they feel passionate attraction to or that they feel emotionally connected to. And it could be because of the children, okay, that they're feeling this way. But it's not saying that you two don't have a chance because the success card came out and you got 1-1 one, one right here. And then you got 11-11 eleven, eleven for the four wands. And when you have 2-2-2, two, 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 which that's what that is, 2-2-2, two, 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 that is tell the universe what you want and focus only on what you want and not what you don't want. If you want something to come true for you. That's what the 222 mean, okay? So you have the 222 here and you have the 1111 and with another 11, y'all, this is some divine shit, Pisces. This is some real shit right here, okay? Now you're up in your head, your, your, your person, Nine of Swords, is up in their head about this Queen of Cups, okay? This Queen of Cups, about how you make them feel possibly or how... Uh, they may know about a third party. They may know they're in a third party. They may know they're messing with a married person. 
or a person that hadn't got their divorce yet. They may know that, but they're they're having nightmares and staying up at night thinking about it, trying to figure out what to do, you know, how, how they're going to proceed. And that's where all this, a little bit of insecurity here with the four of pentacles, all this hoarding or this selfishness. Um, maybe there's child support in here, you know, things that are taking away from it. But this person is definitely hiding something if it's married. And this, and this person is also, if it's, the person is not married and you are this queen of wands and this queen of cups to this one person, then they see you as very serious and protective of the things that you love. Uh, not necessarily saying you love money, but they see you as a hard worker. They see you as someone that's, you know, financially secure because you're holding your pinnacles. So you have the, you, you own a business or you're a business savvy. Okay. You have intelligence about finances. Okay. You're, you're very careful even with your spending because look how you're holding on to it. You're not just a, 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 a wasteful person when it comes to money. Okay. You, you really consider spending, you know, frugally or on the things that you, you truly need. You don't neglect what you don't want because you have everything being the nine of pentacles already. It's just, you're very practical when it comes to spending and and that's the type of person y'all want you want somebody that's not going to just go out there and waste this person is saving up for retirement even you know even wanting to have something just for vacation or you know for things like that they're not wanting to deplete to to just spend till they don't have anything right y'all got the will of fortune that again is your success and it was coming under under the ace of pentacles so this is a definitely a blessed union and one of a divine fate union pisces that y'all are having this is definitely that you know but like i said the universe respects our free will and what we decide and if y'all can work this out if this is an actual third party where it is a marriage to somebody and the, and the person is just waiting to get out of it i mean i don't condone I mean, I ain't going to say I agree with somebody fucking up somebody's marriage, but if they were going to leave, they were going to leave any goddamn way. If they just finding the time to leave. But I just don't, uh, I just don't think, I, I mean, I, I can't really even say what that shit's about because you don't know the other person and you don't know what they've done to the other person. So you really can't even judge the situation either. But some people end up marrying the people that they, uh, that they cheat with, you know, with their, with their person, husband or wife. And some of them don't. So it depends on what their destiny is, but the union here is definitely has a chance for uh, good luck and opportunities and success and a fresh new start. If it is a person involved or if it's just the, the, the space and time, that's the third party. Okay. But there's also a celebration and this could be just them coming together is making this be a third party celebration. Like they're celebrating that they're coming into the union as one. So you have different scenarios I'm giving y'all because that's what they're telling me. That's what the spirit source is telling me. This is like more than one. It's like three of them, I think, here that I'm picking up on. So uh, that is, let me do... Let's see what the challenge is. I'm gonna keep this long. I'm at 30 minutes. Maybe. I'm gonna get off. I don't want this to be an hour. Spirit source energy. What is the challenge here for Pisces bonus and what their person secretly thinks about them? What is their challenge? What is their challenge? What is Pisces challenge? Ooh, that landed right on the Ace of Cups. Y'all see that? Right on the Ace of Cups and the third party. Their challenge is they're juggling. Ooh, shit. They are juggling their finances. That person is juggling their finances for this new beginning. This person is trying to get their money together, get things going. Y'all have been trying to keep this relationship a secret for a long time. Oh, that is some of y'all. That is some of y'all. Y'all been juggling this secret romance for a fucking hot minute, baby. For a fucking hot minute, baby. Because of the passion that's in it. 
Y'all wasn't in it for the emotional. Y'all were in it for that fucking fire, baby, in that bedroom. Oops, told somebody business. But anyway, y'all was juggling it for that. Look at there, King of Wands. Yeah, Mr. Playboy. Mr. Playboy, see there? Yep, 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 yep. Y'all were in this for the passion, for the get down to the get down in the uh, that town, you know, that thing. <laughs> That's your challenge. Y'all been trying, you've been trying to balance things out, work things out. And for those that is not the third party cheating type thing, it's y'all getting y'all money together so that y'all can move in together. The challenge of bringing y'all into one roof, you know, the, taking the two individual households and making them one. This is about y'all bringing y'all money together. Okay. For those that is not a, 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 married situation and you're messing with a married person this is about y'all bringing the money together bringing the house together okay so y'all can have that balance but this is definitely balancing the, the money okay ba balancing the finance balancing the relationship okay trying to get some stability going so y'all feel like y'all having to juggle and and you've been juggling for a minute trying to hold this shit together and not lose that love connection Okay, not lose that fire, that passion, that 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 uh energy that y'all have. Ooh, damn. Oh Lord, who the hell is this? Shit. Damn, y'all, what y'all doing out yonder? <laughs> what y'all doing? <laughs> God damn, y'all be webbing all kind of motherfucking weaving. Okay, let's see what your outcome is, spirit source energy. What is the out? Ooh, lovers card. Look where the lovers go. Damn, y'all. Told y'all. Oh, that was the two of cups, y'all. That was the two of cups. Oh, my goodness. Look what fell on the floor. The two of cups. I was looking to see what was under the box. Y'all got the victory. Ooh, y'all outcome. Look at there. That heart to heart and getting the victory. That was on the bottom. Now, look at this. Look where these fell. Right? This is the lovers, but look where it fell. Juggling. So... That show you, oh damn, they gave y'all a lot. Mm -hmm. Y'all, somebody mad, I done told they damn business, they making me drop my car with they stank ass energy. <laughs> Don't make me get my sage on your ass. Ooh, that must be them haters. Oh Lord, that must be them haters, y'all. Look at him, I don't even know where that damn card was, but anyway, it don't matter. Look at y'all, the lover's card. See, y'all are tied together. Y'all want that commitment with each other. Y'all moving forward with it too. Okay, y'all gonna overcome this challenge. Remember, y'all were juggling things together. Y'all are gonna overcome this challenge that y'all have so that y'all can move forward. Whatever this third party distance or another family dynamic where they, they have an old ex or old lover in the way that's trying not to let them go, Y'all are going to get through this by the chariot and keeping the balance in the situation, okay? Don't get out of balance with it. Keep your level head, and you're going to get out of it because y'all are meant to be. Hey, tell her to get me one, Aunt. Tell her to get me one. Is she getting coffee? She said, and what else? Text her back. And, and text her what mine is. And I'm sorry about that. Can't get my Starbucks. Maybe that helped my head because I ain't had no coffee this morning. I was trying to quit. I drunk my tea, but God damn, my head hurting. Okay, anyway, back to y'all reading. Uh, the chariot, y'all moving forward. Then here's the Knight of Cups coming in with this emotional offer. Y'all are working hard. And see, this is an even relationship. This is a balanced exchange of, like I said, with the two of hearts being an equal give and receive and this is the equal give and receive with the six of pentacles y'all are very generous but y'all got to remember with this success that y'all got coming in as a couple y'all are not going to be able to feed everybody you ain't going to be able to put food on everybody's table that thank you owe them something off of your hard work because this is you working hard for that motherfucking money baby because that's what got you right here on this nine of pentacles this is the eight of pentacles and this is the nine but you got people coming here that want to be looking at what you're doing and your success hey, this damn phone i didn't put it on uh 
uh, do not disturb. But anyway, they're gonna be looking at your success, right? So now they're gonna be wanting to get your get they they hands on it. They're gonna feel obligated that you owe them because they know you. It don't work like that. Boo boos and babies. It don't work like that. You gotta do the work too. Okay, investing in somebody that's fine, and I see y'all investing in people, and that's good. Make sure you're getting your return, your ROI, your return on your investment. Make sure you have it in writing if you're going to be investing in people and other people's businesses and opening up uh, any kind of businesses and contracts and shit. Make sure that uh, you you look at everything, okay? Don't do nothing during retrograde because it's about to come in. Uh, wait till after that unless it can be, if it can be helped, wait till after that, okay? Wait till after that. So this is y'all being generous, y'all. No wonder your over energy was the nine of pentacles. Cause damn it, whatever y'all been working on is sure finna be a fucking woo gold mine. God damn it, a fucking gold mine. Do you hear me? Gold mine, baby. That's your destiny. That's what you do. That's what you get when you honor the divine feminine. Takes you right back to honoring the divine feminine. She will bless your ass exceedingly. Okay, with some fucking wealth, okay? When you honor the divine feminine and don't be afraid of the divine feminine and don't suppress the divine feminine, you will have your wish come, you know, come true. You will have your wish fulfillment. You will have your destiny, what you see your life being as, okay? That was a challenge, the outcome. Let's do the advice, spirit, source, energy. What advice do you have for this reading? Spirit, source, energy, what advice? That, ooh, look at there, trying to catch my finger. Woo! Taurus in the building, baby. Y'all getting married. Your, your, your advice is y'all are married material. Look at there. She is your queen of pinnacle, baby. She is your balance. You think of her as like almost mother earth, baby. She is the one. God damn it. <laughs> she the one. No, I'm just <laughs> For y'all out there struggling and shit. <laughs> With it. <laughs> Let me help you. She the one. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Hey, the one. No, okay. <laughs> I was like, what the hell wrong with her yelling? Okay, let me put my shades back on. <laughs> but uh, this is the person for you. Look at that. Marriage structure. She's going to keep you balanced. She's going to keep you uh, in line with the divine feminine. She's going to keep you, you know, grounded. And you're going to keep her grounded. Y'all going to keep each other grounded in this, 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 uh, this relationship. Okay. Y'all going to be there. Y'all going to be each other's support. This person is very, very independent already. This person may have everything already for y'all, some of y'all out there. That's why the Nine of Pentacles is there also, because that person has everything, and you may feel like you have nothing to offer that person, but that's not the, uh, that's not, it's not saying that that person don't want you, uh, what's wrong with this hair today, this afro, but, uh, um, is saying that this person is stable, but this is the type of person that you want. Somebody that is investing in long-term of their finances. They're not just out there, like I said, blowing money. Because somebody that blows money and somebody that saves money, that's a disaster. Disaster. That's a recipe for disaster in a, in a relationship because you got one person trying to save long-term and think about retirement and think about vacations, but you got somebody over here emotionally unbalanced and they just buying every goddamn thing they put their eyes on. That's imbalance. You, you don't, that's not a good relationship and money will destroy a relationship when you have two people that don't, you know, that ain't on the same page with finance and in the relationship or talking about the, the money in the relationship. Okay. So you got to have some type of commitment. And this is a structure card. This is like a father figure or advice, somebody that gives people advice. So your person is very, very successful and very looked up as, and, and people come to that person for advice. Your person deals with money. Your person is very intelligent about money and how to spend money and respects money. So it won't be no waste. That's why the success is here because it's going to be happiness and success because they're going to have fucking a whole lot of goddamn money is what the fuck this is. They're going to have a whole lot of money. Okay. And in order for that nine of pentacles to come, you already had the 10, which is on the will of fortune, which starts it all over with this ace. So this is their new beginning. This is definitely their new beginning also to have their finances in, in, in right there at the beginning. 
right there at the fucking beginning. Like they're gonna have this couple is not gonna want for fucking nothing. When I say this, I need who's a Pisces man out there available? Who the fuck is this? No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Cause goddamn, you gonna be damn y'all gonna be something. The women or whoever it is, it could be a woman too. But I'm just saying it because I'm a woman. I'm saying man. Cause I don't want no woman. You know what I'm saying? I, I like men. Okay. Uh men. <laughs> not women okay but i'm saying whoever this person is there they are successful they are successful okay so let's let's do 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 understand that if this is your person baby and this is who you have in mind when this reading hits your ass this is your damn person if you're business minded and they're business minded and y'all have that same vibrational mindset about prosperity, about building wealth, about investing, about putting your money in things that'll grow for you. This is your person. This is the this is the shit right here. Y'all saw the cards. I didn't. Y'all saw them. Y'all saw them fly my hand. It wasn't me. The spirit said, "Here, put that down there," and they they, they just flew out of there. Okay. So, but like I said, your person is so torn and worried about uh, this secret, or if I guess if y'all are ever going to be together, and that's why they're up at night. Because I don't see them, you know, they don't know if this is going to break up the situation or if it's ever going to come together. But the advice for y'all is marriage, that y'all, there will be a union, okay? There, somebody, there will be a union. Uh, there will, these damn things, these notifications, I'm going to have to turn that shit off too. That shit is aggravating. Uh, there will be a union. This is about making those decisions and those choices, having that, that structure in, in your house. And two strong-minded people are about discipline and structure. The Hierophant, people come to the Hierophant for advice. The Hierophant holds the keys, holds that, you know, that they have control. They have so much wealth, you know, this is like a Pope, like a high, high priestess, high Pope, high in the community, father figure, and people, you know, of all ages, consider this person, you know, very, very important to the community or to their life. Okay. Even so you're marrying somebody or mirroring somebody in that sense too. You could be mirroring that, that, that to the person too, as the person is mirroring that back at you. So y'all are thinking, remember the same thing about each other. And that's what making this is a power couple. The soulmate is a power couple because they both have Values they both have and in a high regard of people looking up to them for advice. Okay, they and they don't want for nothing, they have everything they need and all they're concerned about. You know, they're concerned about love, but they are serious. The seriousness of her gazing at her pinnacle is like, I'm just trying to build. I want to build, I want to build, and I'm not taking the bullshit because if you're not in the building stages. You know with this person then this person will stay single this person is like that damn serious like whoever if y'all fuck this up that person will stay by themselves before that person run out there and get in a booby trap with somebody that's not on their level this is that shit like you ain't fucking selling for nothing beneath you type of shit that person has to have what you have or more that person has to have it because you already know your value by the queen of pentacles and these are like the most two important uh, cards to me for for financial independence and freedom this person already knows their value and their self-worth and they will man or woman pisces will stay single before they settle for something less than what they already know their worth okay they're not going to just be in a relationship just to be in a relationship but this is a union. This is something sacred. This is something beautiful because the advice is marriage. Y'all going to want to get married. Y'all going to want to spend each other. Even if you don't get married, the common law marriage will make y'all married. But y'all are wanting to be in this for the long haul. So that's how important this is for Pisces out there. Y'all want to be in this with this person for the long haul. You see the 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 the, the results. You see the end road that you want to grow old with this person. Okay, 
you want to grow old with this person. So that's your advice. You want to have somebody to share all this wealth and success and happiness with. And you and this union is going to be so healing. Oh my God, it's going to be so healing. It's going to bring so much happiness for both of these people. And it's going to be so much success. And that's why you're going to have to watch friends and family. You're going to have to really, really hone in on your circle. Who, who's in your circle? Because you may not have people in your circle that are givers like you. You might have people in your circle that are takers. So that's what the walking away, where is it at? That's also what the walking away from. You can tell where your family and friends and everybody else is at by the mindset. So if they're not elevating, if they're not leveling the fuck up, as we call it, level the fuck up, then it'll be level the good fuck, bye, okay? Bye, okay? How they say bye, bitch, bye, okay? In a good way, and out of love, but you know, it's just a figure of speech. Because I like to say it like that. Bitch, bye. Okay. Child, bye. Okay. Like that. So, it's you got to be very, very careful because this is some serious wealth. This is some serious wealth. And it's out of the universe. Like, it's given to you out of the universe. And if you don't respect it, it'll be taken away from you. Okay? It'll be taken away from you because you're not respecting it being given as something divine that you've always wanted, okay, that you wished for. So that's y'all reading for today. Oh, that was beautiful, Pisces. Y'all are going to love this on my YouTube channel. And watch, see, that them sneaky motherfuckers. Watch them. I, that's I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I know them sneaky motherfuckers don't probably like me because I be telling their ass they sneaky motherfuckers, but that's what the fuck that shit is, sneaky motherfuckers. I, I, I ain't sugarcoating shit. Go to church, goddamn it. You want to goddamn get sugarcoated. This ain't motherfucking church, goddammit. Not that kind of church. This is the church of the motherfucking truth. <laughs> Not the motherfucking lie. That's the goddamn difference. <laughs> Churchers. No, I'm just kidding. I say that with love. Y'all gonna wake up one day. <laughs> one day. <laughs> one day and very soon. <laughs> okay. But I love y'all. Thank you for all the donations. Thank you for your time, energy, your like, subscriptions. Y'all hit your sister girl up. I put the new schedule down below. It is going to our monthly for July 2020. I, okay, I'm going to do June the 16th through the 30th on the 16th or right, right around there. Then for July, I'm going to give y'all a monthly before the end of June for July whole month. And then uh, within that first week, I'll give y'all the first through the 15th, the two week of what you need to be working, looking at, and I'll give you the 16th through the end of the month because I just feel it don't set right with me because I know energy and to give you kind of like too much at one time, <clears throat> you'll repeat, you'll repeat and it's still the same energy. So I don't feel y'all need that unless there's a, a important message that I'm, I'm, I'm receiving from spirit source energy or the universe that y'all need to know then i'll come in <clears throat> and do that bonus for you but i don't want to over process i don't want to be the cause of this let me just say that i don't want to be the cause of putting too much out there for you that your your mind is getting and even though it's your your responsibility to control what you're watching too yeah but I don't want to just bombard, but I know it's other people I'm talking to besides you, Pisces. It's cross watchers, it's cuspers, it's people that got Pisces in their chart. And some of those messages are for them, but for my sanity as well, <laughs> and for my personal time and my personal life, and to free me up for my uh, personal reading so I can get them to y'all within 72 hours, I want to not be doing them four days a week, like trying them like I, that was too fucking much. And I got other shit to do, okay? Uh, so, and other things I'm working on. So that's why I said, no, nah, let me go back to my definite three times a month. You'll get one from me and then you'll get your bonuses by your like subscriptions, you know, and your thumbs up and your participation in comment below if it resonate, resonate with you. Right. So I'll do it based on those, those high views that I get. Okay. And like I said, if spirit source energy universe say, give them this, they need to hear this then I'll do those extra bonuses and, uh, on the different signs. So look forward to that. It is down below now. I did put it on with this one so that it can, and so that people can start seeing, you know, yeah, you're going to say, I'll change again. Yeah, that's me. I'm a Taurus. We change. We don't fucking like, we're a fixed sign, but 
we we got a lot of energy so we do a lot of shit that's just us but i'm gonna keep it at that because i i could tell the difference in when i did it last month and how it affected me this month for these first two weeks in june and i'm like hell to the fuck no we going back over there and do it that way so but i did wanted to try before i knocked it okay i wanted to at least verify it, that it just ain't for this chick him okay it ain't for kim arts kim arts gonna do you three a, a goddamn month okay and the rest is the rest okay whatever come out of it and that'll free me up you know, so y'all can get y'all private readings. And thank y'all all for all the donations and all the love and support and all the uh, complimenting and back and forth on the channel. I really do appreciate y'all. Every day I'm meditating, y'all shit just come on in here like a flood on these motherfuckers. <laughs> and when y'all get married, send me my wedding invitation now. Just send it to me so I can congratulate y'all. I just want to just put them all in something. Okay, in a little old uh, uh, book or something, you know, so I can see all the success that's coming in and just get happy for everybody. <laughs> You know, I want to feel y'all happiness too. Some of y'all, I might even make it to your wedding. You know, so just send me the invite. Send me the invite. If it has something to do with one of my readings, I want to know. I want to know because I want to know who I'm helping and who's, who's you know, so I can put that energy up for y'all too, okay? I, I'm putting it up there anyway, but I want to, you know, firsthand put it up there for you. Like, call you, send you something, you know, congratulations, I'm happy. For, you know, I want to do it, what you call personally is what I guess I'm trying to say. That was the word I was looking for. Rather than just, I'm, 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 I'm meditating all of y'all. Okay, y'all already know that. I say it all the time. But I'm saying when something significant as this happening in your life and it's a power couple and y'all are doing dynamic shit and off the radar motherfucking shit and y'all helping so many families and people come up and, and, and y'all are making them investments and y'all bread is looking like, uh, cream de la cream on uh, caviar and uh, 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 whatever that other fancy uh, delicatesses is and shit. You know, I want to be there to congratulate y'all ass. You know, because that's a that's a major major accomplishment. That means your destiny. Okay, you got in line with your destiny. So that shit is serious because so many people come through this earth, pass through here, and never reach their destiny until other 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 lifetimes. Right until they wake the fuck up. But y'all are here getting y'all shit right fucking now. That's the difference. Y'all are on that shit right now. Okay? I want to be there to celebrate with y'all. Thank you all. I think I hear my grandkids or somebody, so I'm fixed to go. Girl got stuff to do. I might do another one on what they secretly thinking about you. I don't know what sign yet. But anyway, it might be Taurus. We'll see, because I'm a Taurus. We might see Taurus, or we might do some other one. We don't know. But anyway, peace, love, and harmony. Because if you got peace, love, and harmony in yourself, you'll have peace, love, and harmony in the world. So peace, love, and harmony.